Yo guys, what's up? Davis here. So, I haven't heard of anybody doing a Corona Viper Dual Nand. And I contacted the mod shop and I asked him if he ever did one. And he said no, he hasn't ever done it. And he said he hasn't heard anybody else doing one. So, I would assume I'm the first person, but I'm not sure exactly. This is a Corona. And it has the Viper Dual Nand install. And you guys are going to ask how I did this. Um, it's honestly pretty simple. If you ever did a Demon install on a Corona, then you obviously know you're going to need a, uh, a QSB adapter for it because it doesn't, the, uh, the pads and everything are different. So basically this is the, the Viper chip and I got these QSBs, which you can look them up on any mod chip site, but, uh, the Demon Corona 16 megabyte QSB conversion. You're gonna need one of those for it, or the other way you could do it is you could basically wire this chip up and wire it directly to the pads. So um, it's just, it's pretty much the same thing as a Trinity would be, honestly. It's just everything is switched around and you don't have, you don't have enough room to put it there. So I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, if you wanted to get the QSB, because these things are only like $3 or something. You get get those, and then this just sits on the um, the QSB like that, and you just solder it on there. Uh, it's pretty simple. I don't want to take it out of the package because I don't need to use it right now, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. But yeah, this thing works, and it's for a customer. And as you can see, those nice solder points. And yeah, so, um, but anyway, let me show you guys what's different about it. The RB point is different. So the RB point on a Corona is right there. And let's see, SMC is the same. And also on a Trinity, let me show you a Trinity install. So this is the Trinity install. And you guys can comparing the differences but as you can see the Trinity it has a resistor right there and the Corona doesn't have that so I have to take the Corona and the wires right here I have to wire these two up so this is the 3v3 right here and this is the ground and it's, it's pretty much that simple you can take a multimeter and figure out uh, which pad is which um, so yeah, the RF point is the same. Uh, everything is pretty much the same. It's just a little bit switched around. And then up here, everything is, sa is the same on the chip. And you gotta make sure to, to use the right timing files. He has, the mod shop has everything in the diagram that you need to know, pretty much. But, um, and then I got this wire right here. Goes to the RF board, and I need to fix that because that looks like dog ass but it works right now and because this console isn't finished anyway but um and then this wire right here is for the for the sync button so plug this up and if you hold the sync button it'll switch the NAND it'll tell you uh so that was the second NAND and then if you do it again it'll blink one time which is the first NAND so if we turn it on right now It'll boot retail, and as you guys know, this fucking TV is always off, but it booted, and eventually you guys will see. You know what's really shitty about this TV? There is no button or option so you can turn the auto off, off or disable it, whatever you want to say, but yeah, it works, that does, so if we turn this back off, unplug it, plug it back in, and then click it again it switches the name whoops and if you guys want to save some time this is what you can do when you're creating etc and writing it instead of writing it to the original NAND you just write it directly to the um, to the uh, uh, Viper chip so you, you're gonna create ECC and then you're gonna unplug your console uh, actually sorry unplug your NANDX 
uh, or JR Programmer, and then you're going to switch the NAND, and then click write ECC, and then it'll write it to the Viper chip, and then you can just boot Zell like that, and and there you go. So, you know, it's that simple, and that'll, that'll save you like two minutes of writing the NAND, but yeah, Zell works on it, everything works. Uh, that's a little tip for you guys to save you a few minutes on writing the NAND. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is the Viper Corona Dual NAND. Let's just see it boot one more time. Oh, sorry, that was the retail NAND. It actually boots really fast. And now it's not going to boot fast watch. Um, maybe not. There it is, son. What do y'all think of those consoles over there? Go buy one off my website, TractusCustoms.com. I'll be offering these Viper Dual NANDs uh, pretty soon. And they will be cheaper than the Demon install. This, the, the difference between the two are a few things. I'll probably be doing a, a different video about that later on. But uh, yeah guys, you have a great night. Thanks for watching.